Okay, that's just a little something I wanted to throw in for you. The next thing I want to talk about, though, is I get a lot of questions about triads. I used to use a lot of triad approach, uh, back in the 70s especially. After working many years with Terry Trotter, I started not using the triad approach as much and becoming a more linear player because Terry explained to me a lot of things about doing that. We'll get into that another time. But I think the best example of the triad approach is a song I wrote called Don't Give It Up. And most of you have heard it, but the melody goes, and it's all triads. It's in the key of G, and I'll play that for you one more time so you can just see the lick. What I discovered when I was thinking about presenting this to you is that if you find a progression just in fifths that you like, you can play that cycle in triads. That's what happened with this. It went G to F, B flat to A flat. So let's find one just quickly. I don't have one prepared. Let's do G to C to B flat. And now I will play that in triads. G, C, B flat. One, two, three, four. twice as fast. Dun, dun, dun. G to the C to the B flat to G. Uh, one, two, three, four. Any progression you make up, you can fit your triads in there if you so desire. That's the whole point of this. 